guys how are you doing you beautiful gorgeous people of the web and thank you guys so much for clicking on my channel um i'm gonna make this as fast as possible because i'm gonna do something that i've not done before um in regards to a particular artist um on my channel a, a good few months ago i did a reaction to joni mitchell and i don't really know much about her like i know like um big yellow taxi and river um, but I don't really know much about her, but I do know that she's considered like one of the greatest kind of songwriters of all time. And one thing I love about music is I'm so such an analytical person that I love music. I always analyse song lyrics because I enjoy writing poetry myself. And um, I did a reaction to a song by her. I can't remember what it was now. It's a long time ago. And it really blew me away. And um, basically... Um, Somebody asked me to do a reaction to both sides now um, and I'm going to do the version of the, like I think it came out in 1969 and then she did a more modern version in like the 2000s and I'm going to react to both because someone said um, only one other person's done this so obviously when you go through life sometimes songs or even when you rewatch a film it can take on a whole new meaning when with age and with maturity and understanding life and going through heartache going through loss and that's something I've experienced this year Lisa Manan going through breakups all of it so I'm really intrigued at this because I really find her fascinating as a songwriter and I'd like to learn more, more about her. Um, if you are new to my channel guys then please do subscribe below. I've literally, you're the first video, I've got a PayPal kind of support page so if you do want to support my channel or give a donation I'll be really really appreciative. Um, it'll be in the link below. Please don't forget to subscribe below. Don't forget to give the video a like it and more importantly please comment because one thing I enjoy, I enjoy the passion of music which brings us all together so I'm gonna get straight into this this is my friend Johnny Mitchell and this is my friend Mary Travis and this is singing feel like she's so endearing to watch because I feel like she has this sense of kind of shyness and vulnerability about her where she almost um, I feel like you get some people where they really play for the camera and they can be quite egotistical or they can love that attention but for her I feel her natural art and craft is to kind of just enjoy doing what she's doing and I do know that she's the lyrics to this are absolutely beautiful Um I really don't know clouds at all um, I've seen it from both sides now and I feel like she's almost like playing but she's completely absorbed in her own world and the song that she's singing about as well it's a, it's a really beautiful performance I love this kind of era of music I just love the aesthetics of it is that kind of um, era of freedom of liberation oh, oh my gosh amazing
<laughs> that was absolutely beautiful. Um, I feel like I'm lost in the lyrics. I feel like I really need to analyse the lyrics um, because I'm so absorbed in the melody. She makes singing look so effortless. Like she's a definition of a storytelling voice. Like it's a kind of voice where it's so delicate, it's so fragile, it's so in command, in tune, her transition to falsetto, she makes it look so, you can even see it in the mouth movements where she's like, lots of life from both sides, now, like it's very kind of, it's very kind of like hypnotic almost, like I absolutely adore it, right, I'm, it's going to be a long video, so I'm going to go straight into the version which she's done, which somebody asked me to do this, so this was like 1969, I'm not sure if it says how old she was when she wrote this song, um, but apparently she's done a, um, a rearrangement, someone told me, and this is with her being much, much older. So this is from the year 2000. So that's, what's that? So called 89 to, so this is like nearly 30 years later and um, 31 years later. So I'm very intrigued. Let's, let, let's do it. Oh, wow, that's already given me chills. Um, her voice has obviously got a lot deeper with maturity, and I actually, I actually think that's really haunting. I think she, it's almost more. I feel like that's almost like in, instantaneously like grabbed me and lured me in. Um, the, uh, the arrangement is completely different because I feel like the 60s version was very kind of like folky with the kind of strum of the guitar. It was almost like very carpenters kind of thing. Um, well, let me go back a little bit. But now they only block the sun and they rain and they snow on everyone. So many things I would have done. The clouds got in my That's like wow, that's moving. Um, oh wow, my whole body is covered in like chills. Um, what a completely different interpretation of it. It reminds me like um, in the UK we have um, a radio um, show called Live Lounge. I don't know where anyone's from, but um, if they do that in your country, but it's where people choose to do covers or some artists do covers of their song. And they sometimes change the arrangement and sometimes when people do a different arrangement or do a more kind of live kind of acoustic version it really kind of highlights the lyrics and makes you feel 
or understand the song in a different context and I feel like with her performing that song when she was much much younger it kind of had an almost kind of like freedom kind of free flowing kind of like um carefree kind of vibe to it whereas this one feels like a woman who is singing a song who has completely lived life and similar to what she wrote about when she was younger saying I see it from both sides now but obviously the same, I'm like that with films I always say this but I remember um, seeing films when I was younger American Beauty comes to mind and when I saw it when I was younger I was like oh this is like really boring and then when I got older I watched it again and I was like oh I really like that and now that I'm older still I'm like god what an absolute masterpiece because when you go through so many life experiences and experience things like loss like heartache like um searching for the meaning of life understanding what life really is about and the value of things you, you become more absorbed in it with life experience and i feel this interpretation on live performance you can hear the honesty you can hear the the, the passion in a voice is absolutely gorgeous and when i've done reaction videos before i always say this guys i adore strings and this is so minimalistic it's so simplistic but it's so haunting Moons and jewels and ferris wheels A dizzy dancing whale and you feel As every fairy tale comes real I've looked at love Just another show And you'll leave a lot in the way you go And if you can Don't let them know Don't give yourself away
I was so sorry. Um, probably one of one of the greatest live performances I've ever seen um, by an artist. And I feel like that's a definition of what she is. She is a definition of an artist. I can see why someone asked me to do that. Asked me to do the then and the now. Um, I'm so sorry for getting emotional. I feel like it's almost made me go into my own world. And I feel like the lyrics. Um, let me see if it's got the lyrics. Um, look at the other one. The lyrics were so stunning. It was just so simplistic. Um, seeing if someone's wrote it. Um, the illusion that um, I don't know life at all or something like it was just so. That version, that second version of that, got me in my feels. It was incredible. It, it was an honour. To even kind of hear that and watch that, so I can't imagine what it would have been like to have been in the audience, have been in the crowd, and witness that live because you could feel the emotion just transmit through the screen. She was so in the moment; it was such a coming of age kind of realization performance of a woman who's lived, a woman who's been through it all, and had the ability to connect to her audience as well and truly make you feel and. Seeing a performance like that is without question why she's considered to be one of the most greatest kind of songwriters of all time um, in her niche and in her genre and in popular music. It was absolutely a masterclass in every sense of the word, in performance, in emotive skills, in, in, in songwriting, all of it. it was an absolutely 11 out of 10. It was a like it. Um, wow. Um, I don't know much about her, but hearing that and from the other song that I did a reaction to as well, um, I feel like I want to know more about her because I find her lyrics very intriguing because I write and I write poetry and I'm really into lyrics and artists that are very good lyricists. That's, it, it's kind of made me go into a very re reflective mood, which is outstanding. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, guys. Um, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe below. Don't forget to give the video a like. It. Please don't um, forget to you know support my page if you would like. And um, thank you so much for your support as well. Um, let me know what you guys think of this performance as well from then the now um, your favourite Joni songs. And thank you so, so much, guys. Take care. Bye.